Welcome back to another video. Alright, this is the video that you all was waiting for. This video is called Command Handler. Well, yes, Command Handler is kind of very hard, I know. It's, the Command Handler is the thing that you don't need to put the code into your um, index.js. You just need to make a file into the Command Handler. So, like, whatever you want to call it. And then your bot is going to be online or some stuff like that. Which is very absolutely great, not going to lie. But the thing is, I'm going to teach you guys how you guys can do that. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to look at the subscribe button from the description in the description. If you guys want to uh, have any questions or any technical difficulties with the code, just comment down below or you can join to our Discord server as well. We can help you better on there. Just click in the link in the, <laughs> click the, link in the description so you guys can join to our Discord server. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, as you can see, this is our main code. Uh, we, I did a lot of edits here, so I'm just gonna explain each the thing that we added. Also, if you wanna see the source code, you should probably check the link in the description. Because you will need the source code for the command handler. Just check the link in the description. If you don't know how you guys can uh, use the GitHub episodes that we're gonna have, just watch this video right now. The GitHub is pretty simple, you just need to click on this. And it's gonna redirect you to your page. You can just check out the GitHub source code available. You can click on the link on there. And as you can see, you should probably see something like this in here. You need to click on the branch here and you will see the each episode code, which is very great. You won't have any problem. Just click on the episode that you want. Like for example, this is the episode four. Let's click on episode four. You will see the episode code, the util events, something like this. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so. Now we did it, so let me just explain some of the code. First of all, I add a line of code called require utils event handler bot. So this is the thing that's gonna come to event handler. First of all, we need to make an event handler, so then we guys can use the event handlers as well. So let's click on the require, let's, let's see the require. So first thing you see, after you guys need to add this code into your code, you need to right click in here and make a new folder called util. As you can see, I already made it, U-T-I-L like this and then click on it and then as you can see i have a js file into it all you guys need to do is just make another js file and call it event handler.js as you can see we already if you already did that just just wait for it we need to continue the coding and then i will see what i put for the event handler.js all right so in here we have cons fs require fs you need to add this if you don't know how to install fs it's pretty simple you just need to do npmi uh fs uh slash slash save i mean not a slash but yeah you can do that Save, there we go, and then you, you're gonna install that fast because we will need it for command handler. And we did the bot.commands new discord collection and the alias says new discord collection as well. Make sure to add these as well. So this is the hard part that you guys should probably check the link description for that for the GitHub because it's gonna be so messed up. So yeah. First of all, we add a commands folder. This is our command handler for now. These are all about the command handler, except this line of code because it's for the event handler. So we did like a commands folder so each of the commands we just explained that each of the commands available in here are gonna be for our um the files that we're gonna do so we said if if in the commands folder we add a file after the file name was js it's gonna read the file and uh the command that we're gonna use the suffix after the prefix is the, the word that we put before the dot js file so that's it make sure to add this code in here as well Next thing you want to do is you're going to bot.onMessage.async. I know I changed, I didn't change a lot of things here, but I didn't remove the commands. And I put, except that I put these three line of the codes. This means that it's going to connect the message.on. They're all going to connect to our commands folder. So we don't need to put the commands in here anymore. So make sure you add these three line of the code in here as well. Remove the commands that you already have or just save it because we need to put it in the commands folder. So as you all know, we in last episode we did a high command and a clear command. So all you guys need to do is just click, click, make a folder called commands, and then add a file called clear.js or any code that you did before, and you need to put the name of your file, the, the suffix after your prefix, and then after it put the .js. Then as you can see, we will go here. Let me just start in the high first because it's gonna be confusing a little bit. First of all, you need to connect your boss settings and your Discord. Make sure you add these. These are the the theme for each JS file that we're gonna add into your commands folder. As you can see, we have these files here. Yeah, the required command. Make sure to add these are in here. So the next thing you want to add for each of your files that you're gonna make is a model.export.config. 
you should put the information of that command in here with the usage and the accessibility and the aliases if you don't have any aliases it's fine just just make this empty like this but i have like aliases for my high command so i'm just gonna put uh, h like here, like this so as you can see we have mall.export.run something like this and we need to add this because you're gonna put the command inside of these function so you need to add this model that export run async spot message args like this and then like this so you just need to put the command inside of the export model so that's it for now the command you can add the clear command as well it's exactly the same but i changed some of the settings in the model that export because it's probably different from the high command like it's the name of the high but the clear command is clear name so yeah this is probably different this is it for commands um you can add any commands that you want no matter how many are they you can put like if i like let me just show an example let me just add a hello command here i'm sorry not hello i should put a day as after it i really just just there we go so i need to add the first the theme that i'm gonna add the theme is this the theme is this you just need to copy a theme from somewhere you just can save it in one of your files so then you can copy it so let me just add this but I have to remove the command inside the model.export because it's a hello command. So we're going to say that, uh, so that's it. This is our theme. The theme is already. So we need to add a hello command like uh, message dot reply. Uh, let's just a reply message like hello. That's it. So now our command is going to work properly without any problems. So this is what's the command handler. Pretty simple and straightforward. Um, the event handler, as I remember, I told you to make a util fuller. You need to make a util fuller and make it event handler.js. And then I'll click on it. As you can see, I all only have a one function here ready. So this means that I, I'm, I'm sure you have that event called in your uh, index.js event call uh, bot.on ready that will set your uh, bot activity or some stuff like this. Just remove it or copy it for now because we will need it for the event handler. So I put the bot.on ready here. Each event that you're gonna add, you're gonna put it in here. But the code inside of the command, uh, the event is gonna be in another folder. So first of all, add a ready command into your event handler in here. As you can see, I added everything. Just add this one first and each event you're gonna do is you're gonna add this after this, like bot.on, um, bot.on. Uh, like i don't know like for example the uh file of the radius so let me just put it like uh disconnect so if our bot disconnect it's going to show a log in here but yeah it's i was saying an example first of all next thing you want to do is you need to save this file here and then as you can see we have an events folder here you need to make a folder called events as well and then you need to put the name of your event in here so for example i put the events ready and in here as you can see this is require event the require event is the name that you put in here. So let's just say I put the ready one, for example, in here. Let's save it. You need to put the event file.js, rename this, and you can call it ready one because I put the name of the file that's just gonna connect it ready is ready one. So just, just making sure about that. After you guys did that, you should probably have some um let me just fix this first. You should probably have some very basic things. Need to go to the ready.js as you can see this is a base code uh the cost of score requires this code.js model that exports bot like something like this and you need to put your ready file ready function that happened in here in here you don't need to put the uh ready function of the bot dot on you just need to put the code for that thing that's happened that's all that's all you need to do for the event handler let's see how is our bot is gonna work out i'm just gonna put uh, my bot token hold on a second Okie dokie, so now let's just go ahead and do node dot and it should say your bot is online. If you did the event handle correctly for the ready and the event handle right, right here, it should say test dash graph is online. Because in ready we said the console.log dash graph is online. So this is it, this is for now. If it worked, this means your event handler is having no problem. Let's go to Discord right now. Alright, so that, let's go to the Discord and check it out how it works. Uh, let's just go to test dash craft. Uh, let's go to test dash craft. Come on, there we go. So, what I'm gonna do right now 
is um, pretty much, uh, I'm just gonna add something like, just do hi, and it says hello. And as you remember, I made another command called hello.js in front of you, so I'm just gonna add hello. Uh, oh my god, I forgot something. In the hello, to, uh, I, that's why it was important, I told you guys. You should put the name hello. You should put the description, anything you want, you can put it, it's customized, like, okay, so for example, I can say, answers, hello, you can put the description you want, anything you want, I need to put the usage to hello, and the aliases, make sure the aliases are correct, I don't have any aliases for this, so let me just reboot my bot, there we go, put hello, come on, there we go, works fine, properly fine, event hello works fine, I can add any commands, unlimited free without any problems it should probably work fine without any problems i'm sure so you have the utils you have the events you have the commands if you want to have make sure your quote is correct just again please make sure to check, check the github i put a link in the description so you guys can check it out also if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll follow me in the socials as well uh and yeah you can follow me on twitter as well join to our discord server if any if you have any questions we will support people in in there so yeah Hope you like this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. Stay safe and goodbye. See you in the next video.